Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to remotely start battery maintenance equalization cycle with Morningstar's TSMPPT60 charge controller. For those of you who are following the channel or following our off-grid solar power system playlist, you know our retreat location is about 100 miles from the house and we have a small off-grid system with Morningstar's charge controller and that charge controller is connected to the internet. Now I did make a trip out there to the retreat this weekend for a couple hours. I checked the water levels on the battery. I disconnected the inverter from the system. This is very important because the inverter will accept 13 to 15 volts, but equalization voltages go up to 15.5 volts. So when you're running equalization cycles, make sure you disconnect any sensitive loads from your system before you start. So the first thing we're going to do is check on the system in general. So I'm going to go ahead and put the IP address in here for my solar power system at the retreat location. And this is the web interface for the charge controller. And what I want to make sure is that we've already done the absorption mode today and that we're in the float mode. Now I've already checked the weather out there and I know it's a bright sunny afternoon so this is a good afternoon to do equalization. The website came up here. Right now the battery voltage is at 13.3. We're already in the float stage, so that means we already completed our absorption for the day. And now we're in the float mode. We'll go ahead and check the data log here and see how we did yesterday. So here's our data log. So yesterday we had 119 minutes of absorption and then 110 minutes of float. The day before was a little bit better. So the batteries have had some sunlight for the past three days. We definitely had solid absorption and solid float times. So we're going to go ahead and initialize equalization here. Now that cannot be done with the web interface. We're going to use the program MSView for that. But I just wanted to show you the web interface first to check on the health of the system, make sure everything's okay out there and looking good. So here's our battery information and here's our array information. We'll go ahead and we'll close out the web browser we won't need that anymore and we're going to open up MS View. this is Morningstar's application or program for supporting their charge controllers we're going to go ahead and do a manual connection to the device I'm going to go ahead and put my IP address in there for the system we'll hit OK we'll come out over here right click and we'll connect to that system and when the connection is done, this will actually turn green over here, this little icon for the charge controller. And there we are, we're connected, the icon turned green. Now I'm going to right click here again and go to properties and go to control information. And here we have equalization trigger. What we're going to do here is force the coil on. So now the unit should be in equalization mode. We'll click OK. So what I'll do here is I'll click display new, we'll click state, and then we'll come here to charge state and bring that over to this window here and see what the charge state is for the charge controller now. And the charge controller is now equalizing. It is in the equalization mode and that's where we want it. So we'll go ahead and hit disconnect here. The icon is now red. We'll close out of MS view. I'm going to open the web browser one more time to make sure equalization for showing in the web interface for the charge controller and in two hours we'll come back and check again and we should be in float so there we have it the charge controller is now in equalization so it's boosted up the battery voltage from the 13.2 the float voltage to 15.62 that's the equalization voltage plus a little additional based on the temperature of the battery we're putting 10 amps of current into the battery and we are in the equalization mode. So we're now equalizing those batteries and you should do this once a month. Check your battery manufacturer's information on your specific batteries. But if you have flooded lead acid batteries, monthly equalization is very important. I'm going to go ahead and cut here and we'll come back in two hours and we'll see if we've completed the equalization cycle and return to the float cycle. Okay guys, a couple hours have passed. Equalization should be over. So we're going to open up the internet here, bring up the web browser, go out to the charge controller through the IP address assigned to that charge controller, and pull up the web browser interface to the charge controller and see where we're at. And there we have the interface there, the web browser for the Morningstar TSMPP T60 charge controller. 
The array voltage is 19.9 volts coming out of the solar panel array. The battery voltage has dropped. We're no longer in equalization. We've returned to absorption mode. So we'll do a little more absorption mode here and then it'll drop down the float mode. Battery voltage is now 14.8 volts. It dropped down from 15.6, which was the equalization voltage. We'll go to the data log and see how much time we logged in equalization mode today. And again, you only have to equalize once a month, but you should check with your battery manufacturer and you only need to do this if you have flooded lead acid batteries. So looking at the chart here today, we had a total of 307 minutes of absorption voltage, 161 minutes of float voltage, and then we did 121 minutes to equalize the batteries today. And again, you only do this about once a month. So the max battery voltage today was 15.69 volts. We did that for two hours. Now we're back in absorption mode, so we should be good for another 30 days. And next trip out to the retreat location, again, I'll check the water levels in the battery, and we'll do a specific gravity check on each of the cells to make sure the cells are in balance with each other. So that wraps up this video. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a demonstration video on how to trigger equalization remotely with the Morningstar charge controller. Thanks for watching guys.